welcome back to another cash checker credit with kira kira and today i am here to talk to you about outtrays braided unit you guys this is the triangle unit and i finally got my hands on it i got it in the color one and yeah let's just get into this <music> still using a toothbrush to slay your baby edges i was thinking to myself self why is this toothbrush so soft and it is super clean it's so lovely um i realized it's my husband's toothbrush so yeah he has a whole new pack of toothbrushes <laughs> and yeah it felt so good so i think from now on i'll just keep that pack of toothbrushes and just yeah switch them out ever so often because i'm telling you uh, a fresh new toothbrush that i guess is only brush teeth <laughs> works just fine
this recording is after a full day of wearing this where I would have to be out and about and with actual people. And you know, I'm here with this plus one. Hey, say hey. <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit about the pros and the con of this triangle a braided unit. Um, I'll have to check the specs and see what is the length on these, but uh, on this unit. So let's talk about pros so far. Price point. I really enjoy the price point for this. So it was about okay, about a hundred dollar unit, and uh, don't forget about shipping and handling. It came relatively quickly. I will leave the link below for where I purchased. Got it in a one. I was a little afraid because I don't remember last time I got a unit in one, and so I just needed to see what that would look like and I feel like braided units look more realistic like in the dark colors but the light colors are nice too but yeah I just really wanted it in the darker unit all right so um price point is good but I went shopping or I went browsing in store in uh, a couple of hair stores in my, in my city and I did not find any units that would actually be believable meaning I like for people to ask me or wonder, hmm, is, is that a, like, what, what did you do? Because at this point, if you know me and you've seen me, like, actually, you have to end up asking because you don't know what it is. Is it a unit? What is it? Clip-ins? What is it? A crochet? What method? Like, you really end up having to ask, especially if you do not um, ever watch my series or you're not really into the internet. So, a lot of times people have to ask, which I'm cool with that because that means I get to build my base and um, see what people are thinking about so I'll know what types of videos to make. So, anyhow didn't see anything that would make it just believable like there's no wonder factor with the ones that I saw now I saw this unit about a month ago online but I didn't see any not many reviews on it if any at all and so I did not purchase and then within the last few weeks I've seen quite a few reviews I'm like oh no so and I'm gonna have seven styles for you in this video y'all I'm holding this camera <laughs> It's a hot mess. Like, I take my hat off to those of you who uh, vlog and are able to hold it. I'm just not that girl. I normally have it propped up on something or have my um, tripod, but I don't have it here. It's like in my car. Both of my tripods in a car. So, like I said, so make sure you watch to the end of the video to catch seven styles that you can rock this in and still be fabulous and have people ask you, what's what? what? What's going on? What, what are we doing here? And you'll be fabulous. I promise you. And then you can come up with your own styles. Make sure you share below, you know, how you decided to rock yours if you decide to get one. Um, so I like the versatility of the styles this one the color one is really nice for me I really love these baby hairs like I suck at baby hair so I like when units come with a nice baby hairation um, to tell your story to go along with your style and I just love the way they were wispy they were wispy so you'll see in the video when I have them on and how they have like the curls so it's a lot of, it, it's not quite baby hair it's like teenager hair almost grown so anyhow, I decided to mostly leave it. Like I cut it in here, you'll see in the video, but I mostly left the baby hair because I like the wispiness. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's more like God is more like, you know, boho, little boho chic, just a little bit more chic than the boho. So anyhow, um, I mostly left those and when I tied it down with my scarf and I got to be it most of them stayed down so I had to pluck them up so if yours ever gets stuck down you know peel them up and then I put water in them to make that curl come back so the curl did come back and I didn't pull them all the way up because my lace is up under there as well so in the video you will see me using the got to be glued gel in the black um, squeeze out container which that one's fine but I also when I actually applied it applied it the night before today so last night um so that I can have it ready for the next day I used the got to be spray glue in the aerosol can because I wanted more of a firm hold because I knew I was gonna need to wear this and even though this unit is it's really lightweight right the, bl the braids are really lightweight I don't have to worry about um, the unit sliding as much because I really don't tack my wigs down I, I'm just not that glue down girl braids are really lightweight and they were a little bit itchy okay they were a little bit itchy so I decided to add some um foam mine was a curling foam probably would be better if you used like a wrapping foam but all I had was like a curl foam 
um so i put the curl foam on it to try to alleviate some of that itchy scratchiness it did not alleviate all of it but i didn't go heavy handed i didn't go like all in the paint with that so that may work a little bit better for you all or maybe just do that wash method where you just condition it you know wash it with the conditioner and then hair is not hot on my neck so i'm not just like oh i gotta get this off normally when i come home my wig is the first thing that i take off but i wasn't like oh i gotta take this off i actually laid down in it so the length is really long so I'm, i cannot decide if that is a pro or a con it goes to right at the my bum crack okay <laughs> so i'm five feet who gonna check me so that's where it comes for someone who is um five foot so if you're taller than that then of course it'll hit you differently the scalp was pretty nice i like the lace the lace is not super itchy at all i, I love the way that they uh left the ends um they it's not quite braided all the way down they've knotted them and i think it's already dipped as well so that is cool the braids are pretty uniform they are really like i said uh chic Cons. Okay, so the cons are it, it, it is a little itchy. Length. I can't decide if that is a pro or a con yet. Like that, when I sit down, I have to like move off of this hair. That is one of the reasons why I don't really like wearing my hair either. My hair is relatively long and so it gets on my nerves as I'm trying to just, you know, sit with something that has a back. I have to like move up and adjust my hair. I cannot wear a nude cap with this so in the video you will see two different caps you will see a nude cap and you will see a black cap for me I like the look of the black cap better initially I thought the nude cap was gonna be really good it makes the scalp pop more but what happens it leaves that line that I just could not figure out how I was going to tackle that so that line of demarcation I just could not deal with that so that's why I switched the black cap and then added foundation because I was planning on not adding a whole lot of foundation at all because the lace is pretty good but no I definitely had to go in that foundation when I put on that black cap for sure quite a few times and that's another con I had to go in with foundation more than one time so initially I used powder um foundation and then this morning when I um took my bonnet and my scarf off so since it's powder it comes off i guess easily i don't know i don't ever remember this with my hair units that are not braided i don't usually have to go back in with powder for a while i had to go back in with powder every time that i put this unit on and instead of going in with powder this morning i use a lighter concealer um because you know our scalp is naturally a little lighter than the rest of our face so i wanted that believability factor which it did look nice but the reason why i'm putting this in the con section is because that too uh wore off i will have to reapply that and it did look really good it, at the time these ear tabs oh my gosh that's another reason why i left it long because i wanted um that cute baby hair how it is but these ear tabs i don't know if it's because i cut my legs too short which i think i did cut my legs too short when it comes to the ears especially on this side it kept having this flap of the lace there so what i did is i used my black eyeliner that i never line my eyes <laughs> rarely ever and i just went in on that part of the lace that i didn't want to cut again and that would not lay down and stay down hit it with the black lace since that part of my hair was going to be black there anyways behind the baby hairs and where my ear is so I had did that and I did it over here as well. Um, the got to be glued did not keep it glued all the way down. So another con for me because of the method that I used, which was just half assing it with got to be. <laughs> You'll see where you can start seeing the actual line of demarcation of the, the cap look. itself is not big head friendly. Like this cap is tight. That's another reason why I decided to go ahead and throw some glue on there. I'm not a glue girl, but this cap is tight. Okay, it's small okay it was not big head friendly and i don't consider myself to have a big head those ear parts don't come down very well so you will need to probably leave your uh, baby hair there or either keep these little side pieces of braid there to kind of cover that up or lay her down lay her down and slay her down like i don't lay and slay like that much also within the unit i don't think i showed this in the video but uh these other braids that are here in the back they are 
sewn down so you can use scissors to clip that threading so that the braids can move a little more i did that more so over here than over here so i would probably go back you know as the days and weeks progress and clip those even more but for now for the styles that i was wanting to achieve and bring it to you all i did not clip every piece of thread but go through and clip your thread so that you can tailor your wig to your liking so that you can slay make sure you comment like subscribe share below if you have tried this unit if you are thinking about trying it did you get the triangle or the box i have another review coming for you soon on a different type of style because i'm loving these braids i'm loving not having to sit forever for a crochet doing it myself my arms hurting like this was uh realistically i think it was like 30 minutes just because i was playing around with it and dancing and having a good time but this morning when i got up maybe about five minutes because i added um the concealer in there so yeah this is a win for me overall cash check or credit this is a cash 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 you need to go get this in your life if you love switching your hair up you love using wigs as an accessory if you have hair growth issues you don't have time issues you just like to switch it up this is the unit for you make sure you go and get this get your hands on it get it uh ordered find those websites don't pay like over a hundred dollars for this <laughs> and be prepared have more than one wig cap ready okay i will catch you in the next one bye <laughs>